Welcome to Tokyo, one of the most exciting cities on the planet. Whether it's your first time here, or you're returning to discover even more, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you everything you need to make the most of your time in Japan's vibrant capital. From the electric energy of Shibuya to the peaceful temples hidden throughout the city, Tokyo offers an incredible mix of tradition and modern adventure. Stick with me as I take you through the top 10 things to do in Tokyo. This is going to be an unforgettable journey. Number 10. Takeshita Street in Harajuku. Tokyo is a city of contrasts, blending modern fashion and traditional culture. Takeshita Street is where you'll see this mix come to life. It's famous for its vibrant youth culture and quirky stores that appeal to fashion enthusiasts. But here's a tip. Instead of rushing through the crowded streets, slow down, explore the side alleys, and you'll stumble upon tiny cafes and unique boutiques that offer a more intimate glimpse into Tokyo's creative scene. The first time I visited Takeshita Street, I noticed a hidden cafe up a narrow staircase with an intriguing neon sign. Curious, I went in and ended up having one of the best green tea parfaits of my life, served by a waiter dressed as a samurai. This spontaneous find reminded me to always keep my eyes open for the unexpected in Tokyo. Don't miss the famous rainbow toast or the multicolored cotton candy. It's not just about the taste, but the experience and photos. Number 9. Sensoji Temple in Asakusa Tokyo's oldest temple, Sensoji, is a must-visit. This spiritual haven offers a peek into Japan's history and Buddhist traditions. But beyond the well-known main hall and the iconic Kaminaramon Gate, there are quiet corners and smaller shrines that many visitors overlook. Visit the garden area behind the temple. It's less crowded and perfect for peaceful reflection. Also, if you're visiting in the evening, you'll find Sensoji beautifully illuminated, giving it a completely different, magical atmosphere. While walking down Nakamize Shopping Street, which leads to the temple, try some local snacks like Ninjoyaki, small doll-shaped cakes filled with sweet red bean paste. It's a delicious and authentic treat you can only find here. Number 8. Food Adventures in Tokyo Tokyo's culinary scene is world-renowned, and it's not just about sushi. With over 230 Michelin-starred restaurants, it's the food capital of the world. But let's talk about something beyond the famous ramen and sushi. How about exploring the lesser-known street food scene? One hidden gem is Omoida Yokocho, or Memory Lane. Imagine narrow alleyways filled with tiny eateries, where locals sip sake and grill skewers right in front of you. This place is not on every tourist's radar, but it's the perfect spot to mingle with locals and experience authentic Japanese izakaya culture. If you're feeling adventurous, try ordering dishes without looking at the English menu. You might end up discovering your new favorite meal. Number 7. The Imperial Palace The Imperial Palace is more than just a historical site. It's the heart of Tokyo's history. While most visitors take the guided tour to see the main structures, you can elevate your experience by exploring the East Gardens. During the cherry blossom season, it transforms into one of the most picturesque spots in the city. On my first visit, I joined a local group for a hanami picnic under the blooming sakura trees. It was an eye-opening experience to see how locals cherish these moments of natural beauty. Teaching me that sometimes the most memorable experiences aren't about visiting a place, but how you experience it. Number 6. The Vending Machine Wonderland Did you know Tokyo has more vending machines per capita than any other city in the world? While most people see them as a convenience, 
They're a window into Japanese creativity and technology. From hot drinks to instant ramen and even flowers, there's something surreal about these machines. Once, I found a vending machine near Akihabara selling canned oat. I was skeptical at first, but decided to try it out. To my surprise, it was delicious. Moments like these make exploring Tokyo a constant adventure. Number 5. Miraiken Museum Miraiken isn't just a museum, it's an interactive journey through Japan's technological future. With exhibits on robotics, space exploration, and environmental sustainability, it's a place where you can truly engage with the latest advancements. Don't miss Asimo, Honda's humanoid robot. Watching it walk, talk, and interact with visitors feels like stepping into a sci-fi movie. It's a fun experience for all ages, blending learning and entertainment seamlessly. Number 4. Shibuya Crossing Shibuya Crossing, also known as the Scramble, is one of the busiest intersections in the world. But here's the thing, it's more than just a place to walk across. For the best view, head to the second floor of Starbucks Tsutaya and watch the mesmerizing dance of people and lights from above. Visit the crossing in the early morning, when it's empty, for a rare chance to see it completely quiet. It's a surreal experience to stand in the middle of what is usually a sea of people. Number 3. Ueno Park Ueno Park is a cultural treasure trove, home to several museums, a zoo, and tranquil ponds. But beyond the tourist attractions, it's a beloved spot for locals to relax. During cherry blossom season, it turns into a festival ground with food stalls, performances, and families enjoying picnics under the Sakura. Check out the Shidamachi Tanabata Matsuri, a local festival held in July that features colorful decorations and traditional performances. It's a chance to experience a different side of Ueno. Number 2. Tsukiji Outer Market Even though the main fish market has moved, Tsukiji Outer Market remains a culinary paradise. From fresh seafood to Japanese knives, it's a place where tradition meets innovation. Start early, get there by 7am to watch the vendors setting up and grab breakfast sushi from a street side stall. Trust me. It's a completely different experience from dining at a restaurant. Number 1. Team Lab This digital art museum is not just about art, it's about immersion. Team Lab Borderless allows you to walk through rooms where light, sound and motion create surreal experiences. Arrive early and head straight to the Crystal Room. It's the most popular spot and can get crowded quickly. Also, wear comfortable shoes. You'll want to explore every inch of this place. Before I wrap up, I'll share some insider tips to help you navigate Tokyo like a pro. Keep your budget in check and make sure your trip is smooth and unforgettable. best time to visit. Plan your trip between March to May for cherry blossoms, or October to November for autumn colors. These months offer mild weather perfect for exploring. If you're on a budget, consider visiting in January or February. It's colder, but you'll find great deals on flights and accommodations. Two, where to stay on a budget. For budget-friendly options, check out hostels or capsule hotels in areas like Asakusa or Ueno. These neighborhoods offer a more traditional vibe and are well connected to major attractions. Many hostels offer free walking tours, which are great for meeting fellow travelers. Three, getting around. The Tokyo Metro is your best friend here. Get a Pasmo or Suica card for easy tap and go access. For a unique experience, try the water bus along the Sumida River. It's a scenic way to travel between Asakusa and Odaiba.
4. Eating on a budget. Conveyor belt sushi restaurants, or kaiten sushi, offer great value. Look for 100 yen shops like Daiso for cheap snacks. For a filling meal under $5, try gyudon beef bowls at chains like Yoshinoya or Matsuya. Five, free attractions. Tokyo has plenty of free attractions. Visit the observation deck at the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building for panoramic city views, or explore the trendy streets of Shimokitazawa without spending a yen. Six shopping tips. For souvenirs, check out 100 yen shops or Don Quixote discount stores. If you're into electronics, compare prices at big stores in Akihabara. Some offer tax-free shopping for tourists. 7. Cultural Etiquette Remember to bow when greeting people, remove your shoes when entering homes or some traditional restaurants, and avoid eating while walking. It's considered impolite. 8. Language Barrier Download a translation app like Google Translate or Imiwa for Japanese. Many restaurants have picture menus, but pointing and smiling goes a long way too. 9. Stay connected. Rent a pocket Wi-Fi at the airport or from your accommodation. It's usually cheaper and more reliable than international roaming. 10. Hidden costs. Be aware that some restaurants charge a seating fee or otoshi. It's usually a small appetizer that comes automatically and costs around 300-500 yen per person. 10. And there you have it, your ultimate insider's guide to the top 10 things to do in Tokyo. From ancient temples to futuristic robot cafes, this city is a non-stop adventure. Whether you're here for the food, the culture, or just to get lost in the neon wonderland, Tokyo has something for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more travel tips. Drop a comment below and let me know which Tokyo experience you're most excited about. Check out the links in the description for more detailed itineraries and my favorite hidden spots in Tokyo. Until next time, sayonara from the land of the rising sun, and remember, in Tokyo, every day is an adventure waiting to happen.